understand why Ivy Reuben cancelled that order. I mean, it's not like the goods weren't up to scratch. I know. Oh, wait, damn hard to get that order out on time. Oh, well, that's um, just business, I suppose. How can you say that? Our jobs are on the line. No, 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 no. You're all right. Last in, first out. So that'll be you and me then, won't it? Um, cheers, Todd. What was it? The stress ball. You're supposed to squeeze it when you get wound up. All oh, right. You can smash that about to me for the change, eh? <laughs> oh, happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, my baby, 18. I can't believe it. Hey, less of the baby. Come on, then, open it. Like it? Oh, yeah. Cheers, Mum. Nice one. <laughs> Ooh, suits you, sir. Hey, you might get lucky in that tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got to be some girl desperate enough, eh? <laughs> you know, I must be off my head letting you two have a party here. What, don't you trust us? In a word, no. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of cards, Jase. Yeah, but it's not for me dad. Yeah, well, it might be some second post, eh? Yeah, along with a fat check and a place in a British Olympic squad. Hey, come on. <laughs> birthday cheer. Yeah, I'm off to work anyway, Mum. Mwah. See you later. Hey, hang on. I'll walk with you. See okay. you. See you later. See you later. I can't believe Tony. I mean, fancy forgetting your son's 18th birthday. Yeah, well, he might still come up with a good. Yeah, well, I've known that loser too long. Poor Jace. Never mind. We'll make it up to him, mate. <laughs> oh, has Bethany been keeping you up? No, I'm just um, up late. Schoolwork? Yeah. Well, don't overdo it. A young lass needs a sleep. Schoolwork? <laughs> More like in the chat rooms with TJ again. So, we'll get on really well with him. Well, have you told him about Bethany? No, not yet, but I will. Just as well you're coming to this party tonight because you're in serious danger of becoming a right saddle. Well, I don't actually know if I'm going to be bothered coming because I said I might meet TJ in the chat room at about eight. Sarah, get a life. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, no, I better get alone. The last thing I want is you having to deal with Isabel's family and friends. Scarlet Lady at the funeral? No. Oh, that's all right. I just wish I knew what to do to make today easier for you. You'll just be here when I get back. I better be going. It'll be all right, though. Take it back. Maybe you're not such a slob after all. Yeah, well, it's only a bit of washing. Us fellas can pull our weight, can't we, Jack? Jack. What? Us fellas can pull our weight, can't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we can, yeah. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't burn any of my stuff. Your stuff? Yeah, well, my clothes are in there and all, aren't they? Hang on, these are all yours. Oh, yeah. I don't believe this. Here we go. And there was me thinking you were actually making an effort with the housework for a change. An effort? What do you call that? Selfish, that's what I call it. The number of times I've done your washing and cleaning. Oh, now, come on, be fair, love. I don't think there'd be enough room in the machine for that lot, would there? Well, that isn't the point. Jackie still could have offered. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, don't think I'm doing anything for you again. From now on, you're looking after yourself, mate. What is it with women, eh? Can't do all right, can you? You better get used to it, son. I wonder what they're talking about. The Nala. Judging by the look on Baldwin's face, it's not good news. Uh, Linda, um, look, I know I was the last one hired, but, um, <clears throat> well, we're old mates, aren't we? You know, if it was up to me, I'd keep you on. <laughs> yeah, but you will put in a good word, though, eh? Don't worry. I'll make sure you're OK. Cheers, mate. Yeah, well, I bet Ryan won't be getting his marching orders, will he? Won't be the only one, either. Hey, it's the birthday boy. <laughs> oh, many happy returns, love. How old are you? 18. Welcome to the club, mate. <laughs> so what are you having, then? Uh, I'll have a pint of lager, if that's OK. Two pints of lager, please. Come in up, love. <laughs> So, still coming to the party tonight? Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Oh, you don't mind if Sam comes along, do you? No, of course not. More the merrier. Hey, I reckon I could make a really good go at this bingo calling, Lark. Yeah, well, there's more to it than just shouting out a few numbers. Hey, don't you worry. I've done my own work. 
A couple of sessions in this place, I'll have a meat eating out of my hand. Oh, you reckon? I'm telling you, this could be the start of something big. Some of them callers in Blackpool are on a fortune. How much is your Janice reckon? <laughs> Couldn't be better timing, mate. Not with what's happening at her place. What do you mean? Baldwin's talking about layoffs. Oh, no, you're joking. Hey, hello. Oh, cheers, thanks. Okay, Jesus. look. That's right. Oh. right then. Get that down your neck. Hey! <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Grimshaw. You are now an official, fully fledged member of the Rovers drinking fraternity. That means. The next round's on you. Oh, oh give up. I'm only joking. Happy birthday, son. Cheers. Hey, listen, then, don't take it too personal about your dad not sending you anything on your birthday. He probably got the dates mixed up. Oh, I'm not that bothered. So this part of yours going to be any good, then, or what? Oh, should be all right once we've got the uh, wrinklies out of the way. Yeah, me and Tori are really looking forward to, actually. What's going on between you two? Well, I, I don't know, mate. We're just going to see how it goes. Well, sounds like you're well in there. Stick with it, mate. She's uh, well worth it. Yeah, no. <sighs> I feel sick. I know you're tired about it. Well, it looks like we lose the last three we took on. But that means Karen. It's the fairest way. She's one of the best machinists we've got. Business is business. Can't we draw names out of a hat or something? What? And risk pulling Haley's out? No way. But I as good as promised her, Mike. Yeah, well, that's tough, isn't it? Come on, then. Let's get this over and done with. Right, ladies, listen up. There's no easy way of doing this, but I'm afraid I've got no choice. Now, I want you to know there's no reflection on your work. The staff will let go are guaranteed excellent references with some small financial compensation. Just get on with it. So it's Jean, Bobby and Karen. If you'd like to step in my office, the rest of you can take an early lunch. Oh, well, that's it, I suppose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What am I going to do? Nah, they can't do this to us. It's not on. Oh, sorry, Eileen, I was just checking my levels. Oh, nobody rushed to get that, will you? I'm definitely going to pull tonight. Oh, aye. It's a fact. Birds always go for the DJ, don't they? Not when you've got a face like a bag of spanners. You're in a right mood today. Yeah, well, this was supposed to be my party tonight, but Mum's going to make it Todd's as well. So we'll be bringing all these brat mates and ruining it. Hey, phone call, birthday boy. It sounds official. So you got anything special planned for tonight, Eileen? Well, I quite fancied hanging round here. I love a good party. Oh, relax, Kirk. I'm just winding you up. It's not that I've got up against old people. Excuse me. Well, not that you're old. Keep digging. Oh, look at last, a smile. You won't believe it. That looks athletic federation. They still want me to go to Budapest. Uh, the ex-Budapest. Who cares? It's free and I'm going. Oh, <laughs> smash your love and it's definitely free. Yep, so that's a big birthday cheer for me. Oh, <laughs> that's Cheers. <laughs> No, it's OK. I don't know what to say. Well, there's nothing to say, really, is there? Don't you, here I come. Oh, <laughs> so right. Thing is, Mr Baldwin, me and Roy can manage with what we take at calf. Likes of Bobby need money more than we do. You're one of my best workers. I'm not prepared to let you go. Well, once things pick up again, you could always give me my job back. You are staying, and that is my final word. Thanks for nothing. Nice to know you mates are. Listen, Karen, I really... I don't know you can hold your head up high. Why should we have to pay? Just cos you go and put it about a bit. Now, listen here. Now, do you know what? I've got a really good mind to let everyone know exactly who's to blame for this mess. Look, just give me a day or two. I'll make sure you get your job back, I promise. Mm. You said that before. I'll work on Mike. I just need a bit more time, that's all. Right, remember what I said, keep the noise down. Yeah, yeah. And no one in the bedroom. Mum! It's not you I'm worried about. Hiya. Hello. 
We're not too early, are we? Perfect timing, ladies. Give us an hand moving the furniture. Oh, yeah, thanks a bunch. Not bad for starters, eh, Jace? You look dead nice, both of you. Yeah, well, we should do. We spent long enough getting ready, didn't we? Right, um, no drinking, you two, and uh, keep away from Kirk. Although I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's it look like? Happy birthday, son. No way! Oh, please, <laughs> tell me you're joking, Dennis. Yeah, well, it needs a bit of work, but I thought it'd be handy for him to run about on. I don't know what to say. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Thanks a lot. What? Are you going to sulk all night? Well, what do you expect? I said I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? I thought you'd be chuffed him doing my own washing. Tyrone, the whole point of us moving in together is so that we can share the housework. Well, I promise I'll try more harder in the future. Yeah, well, you better add, cos I'm not going to skivvy after you like Vera does with Jack. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, I might be out of a job. At least I got myself some fancy new gear. <laughs> Shouldn't you be saving your money? Oh, give over. I needed cheering up. Yeah, me too. I was really happy there. I don't understand what went wrong. Yeah, well, if it's answers you're looking for, I'd talk to Linda if I were you. What do you mean? Well, she's the reason we're laid off. She's been carrying on with that Rubin behind Baldwin's back. <laughs> Get lost. Nah. -uh. He called to Matt it and then Rubin cancels the order. Tell you something, that selfish cow's got a lot to answer for. <laughs> Come on. as if you need it. Mm. Well, I knew it was going to be tough, but I didn't realise how tough. It was terrible. Well, it's over now. I mm. thought it might resolve things, sort of clear my mind, but I'm just as confused as ever I was. Well, it's only natural. It's going to take you some time to get used to the idea of Isabel not being around. Mm. There are so many old familiar faces at the funeral. And people who are close friends of you know, both Isabel and mine. They could barely look me in the eye. I felt I had no right to be there. Now you'd every right. Well, I don't know what I'd have done without my sister. She was the only one who didn't try to avoid me. 
Well, she must have been exhausted, flying all the way from New Zealand. Yes, well, she insisted. She was a very good friend of Isabel. You know, we spent a, a holiday in New Zealand about what, eight years ago. That was before Isabel was ill. Yeah. Lovely country. Heavenly. Beautiful scenery. Far cry from Weatherfield. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. They've invited me over for my niece's wedding next month. Well, the holiday will do you the world of good. I was, I was thinking of staying on, perhaps three months, e even more. I, I feel I need my family around me. Well, that's understandable. But I'm worried about the effect it would have on us being so long apart, and I, I wondered... Rita, will you come with me? about the only one who does. So where's your girlfriend? Are you trying to be funny? I was only asking. Hey, what's what you're doing, you daft cow? Don't call me a cow! Go on and play with your dolls. Sam, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby, hey. How much have you had to drink? Oh, don't start. Well, you shouldn't be drinking at all. <laughs> Maybe you should go on. Bob and fine. <laughs> You okay, Toya? Yeah, uh, this is uh, Sean, yeah? yeah. Can you give us a minute, mate? Eh? Yeah, sure. What did you have to go and do that for? Well, because I want you all to myself. Jealous, are you? Very. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Sam. Well, what's up? Look, I'm sorry, I just can't, all right? I can't believe you've gone and given him a motorbike. I mean, they're a death trap. Not if you learn how to ride him properly. Yeah, well, you should have asked me. Will you stop worrying? Jason's a sensible lad. He was gutted about his dad forgetting his birthday. It cheered him right up. Listen, I know you meant well, but relax. I'll make sure he knows the ropes before he goes anywhere on it. I promise. Ah, met him up first. The usual police. All right. Oh, peace and quiet. Do you know my head were banging with noise coming from next door? Not that bad. Well, so the walls were moving. Have a good mind to have a word with that, Eileen. Vera, leave us alone. It's the lad's 18th birthday. Well, I hope Tyrone and Maria have sorted themselves out. Oh, they'll be all right. Well, I blame you. Me? Setting the lad a bad example. He thinks cos I wait on your hand and foot, that's how it should be. I do my bit, Vera. Bit? You're right there. Well, I'm with Maria on this. I think the men of the house should pull the weight. Here. Get off. I knew Linda would have something to do with it. It's her that should be sacked, not us. Yeah, well, I reckon we've got a case for unfair dismissal. Too right, love. I won't let them get away with it. Sneaky cow. No, she's got it coming to her. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, up. Talk of the devil. Maybe we should go home, Mike. We're not going anywhere. We've got as much right to be here as they have. Look at her. Lady Muck. Les, just leave it. She's not worth it. No! I'm going to tell her just what I think of Les, will you let it be? I just don't get it. You're the one who drops your drawers, and it's them girls who lose out. Tell me, where's the justice in that? Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You want to keep her on a tighter lead? She'll drop her drawers anywhere given half the chance. I warned you. Mike, don't. Let's go home. If you were half a man, you'd give them girls their jobs back and sort her out instead. Right. Bobby? You got your job back. What? Janice, you're sacked instead. And you've got your bird brain husband to thank for that. Come on, let's go. Do, do you fancy another drink? Uh, no, Tar. <laughs> but I reckon Eileen will probably need one. Your mum is going to go absolutely mental. Tell me about it. Oi. What do you think you're doing? Oh, go and play with your little mates. Yeah, you tell him. It's your birthday. Oh, bye, Jess. 
Take her home, it won't be long. Oh, yeah. I've had enough, I'm going on too. Oh, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. See, see you later, mate. <laughs> Git, loser. If this bike's damaged, you are dead. Yeah, I'm scared. Come on, let's go. All right. You all right? Yeah. Maybe you should go and check on Sarah. No, she just said, you know, it doesn't matter. Out of here. No. <laughs> Look what you've done. Look at the state of the carpet. It's all right, I'll wipe off. You're making it worse, you plank. Oh, shut up. You shut up. What the heck is going on? Oh, hiya, ma'am. Right. Out. The lot of you. Now. Ma'am, I tried to tell him. Get out of my sight, and you can take that flaming thing with you. Are you happy now? <laughs> 